follow us on facebook and instagram and do subscribe our youtube and telegram channels now let's start our discussion welcome to english lecture notes today we are going to discuss the summary of merchant of venice written by william shakespeare the merchant of venice plot opens with antonio a merchant worries that his ships are overdue as his colleagues offer comfort his young friends bassanio graziano and lorenzo arrive bassanio asks antonio for a loan so that he can pursue the wealthy porsche who lives in belmont although antonio doesn't have cash handy because all of his ships are at sea he gives bassanio permission to borrow as much money as he needs on credit on the security of antonio's expected shipments at belmont porsche and her maid nerissa discuss the suitors who have come in response to porsche's father's strange will the will says porsche may only marry a man who chooses the correct casket made from three possible options gold silver and lead much to porsche's distress all her suitors are unsatisfactory however she does fondly remember a time when bassanio came to belmont and that leaves her with some hope bassanio and antonio approaches shylock shylock is a jewish money lender to lend him 3000 ducats shylock holds a grudge against antonio for his lending practices and apparent antisemitism still he offers bassanio the loan instead of charging interest seemingly is a kind of joke he asks for a pound of antonio's flesh if the loan is not repaid within 3 months despite bassanio's warnings antonio agrees and bassanio prepares to leave for belmont with his friend graziano in shylock's own household his servant launcelot decides to leave shylock's service to work for bassanio and shylock's daughter jessica schemes to elope with antonio's friend lorenzo that night the streets of venice fill up with revelers and jessica escapes with lorenzo by dressing as his page bassanio and his friend graziano leave for belmont where bassanio intends to win porsche's hand at belmont the prince of morocco arrives to try his luck at the riddle of the caskets he chooses gold casket and leaves in defeat jessica steals a large sum of money from her father and elopes as planned with lorenzo lorenzo and jessica along with many others then travel with bassanio to porsche's estate The Prince of Aragon is the next of Porsche's suitors to try to solve the riddle of the caskets. After much deliberation, he chooses silver, which is wrong. As the Prince of Aragon leaves, Bassanio arrives, laden with gifts. A few weeks pass, and news arrives that Antonio's ships have been lost at sea. Though Shylock has been unable to locate Jessica, he consoles himself by thinking that he will have his revenge. in the form of the pound of flesh from his contract with Antonio in Belmont Porsche and Bassanio who have spent all this time together have fallen in love Porsche begs Bassanio to wait before taking the riddle because she can't bear the thought of losing him but he insists on going ahead he chooses the lead casket which was the right one to seal their betrothal Porsche gives him a ring instructing him never to lose it or give it away a letter arrives from antonio with news that he lost his ships and shylock's intention to collect his pound of flesh alarmed porsche gives bassanio enough money to repay the loan many times over as bassanio hurries off to venice porsche hatches a plan of her own to save antonio In the court of Venice, the duke is presiding over Antonio's trial. Shylock resists their requests to show mercy and insists on pursuing his pound of flesh, despite the fact that Bassanio has offered him 9000 ducats, but he rejects. Nerissa and Portia arrive on the scene, disguised as a law clerk and a lawyer respectively.
Porsche asks Shylock to show mercy, but he resists. Porsche points out that the contract Shylock holds doesn't give him the right to take any blood from Antonio, and that if Shylock sheds even a drop of blood while cutting Antonio's flesh that all of Shylock's wealth will be confiscated by the state. She further finds Shylock guilty of conspiring to kill a Venetian citizen, and therefore must hand over half of his wealth to Antonio and the other half to the state. Antonio and the Duke decide to show mercy. Shylock must only give half his wealth to Antonio, and the other half of his wealth to Jessica and Lorenzo after his death. In addition, Shylock must convert to Christianity. Devastated Shylock accepts. As Portia is leaving, Bassanio, thinking her is Balthazar, the lawyer, tries to offer her money in thanks for her favorable judgment. But she refuses, instead asking for his the ring that he is wearing. Thinking of his vow never to part with it, Bassanio hesitates. But after some prodding from Antonio, he gives in. Grashano also gives his ring to Nerissa. Back at Belmont, Lorenzo and Jessica have been enjoying an idyllic romantic evening. Shortly, Portia and Nerissa arrive, soon followed by Bassanio, Grashano, and Antonio. The women feign indignation that their husbands lost their rings. However, they soon end the game and confess their role in the court scene. The couples are reconciled, and news arrives that Antonio's lost ships have returned safely to port, bearing great riches. That's all for today. If you find this video informative, please do subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon to get the notification of our coming videos. Thank you for watching.